Hello everyone, it is Maya aka Based Artist here and today I'm doing a speed sketch and chat. But this speed sketch and chat is going to be just a little bit different than um, most of my other ones. Um, it's going to be different because it's going to have more of a focus. Um, my other sketches and chats are kind of just me rambling off the top of my head, very, very free, very fluid, loosey-goosey and, and stuff. And I think a lot of times that can make for pretty rambly content and I don't know if that's um, what everybody wants to watch or not. So I, I figured I would change it up. I am focused this time. I took some notes. I know what I want to talk about and um, I, I really would like you guys' feedback. Let me know if you like this better. Um, just let me know what you think in general, please. So I, I wanted to talk about um, burning out and taking a break and as, as you all know, it's a topic I know well as somebody who has taken quite a long break from YouTube and from art in general um, recently, and I just wanted to give you guys my thoughts and opinions on it. So I think a lot of people, they tend to overwork themselves, and they get to a point where, where they're burning out, and I think a lot of people don't realize it fast enough, they don't recognize their signs and their signals, um, but that's a whole nother subject, that's a matter of... Um, getting to know yourself and getting to know your your work patterns and, and your psychological patterns, too. Um, but what I really wanted to talk about is when once you get to that point where, where you're burning out or whatever, and you, you still have this feeling where um, you're, you're working on, on the project that you're trying to complete, and it feels horrible to be doing it. You, you're stressed, your heart's not in it, you aren't inspired. And then you don't work and you feel like you're stressed, you feel like you're wasting your time, like you're, you know, chasing that clock. And it's a horrible feeling. I've been there. And I think that once you get to that point, the most important thing that you can do is just take a break. Um, and I think it's something that a lot of people are really scared of doing, believe it or not. Um, but I think it's really good and it's really healthy um a, a lot of us a lot of us artists out there we don't we manage ourselves i think it's different if you go to a job you know you work nine to five and then your boss tells you to go home and then that time afterwards and in between work is your free time it's your relaxed time i think it's easy that way and when you're your own manager it's a lot more difficult to know when you should work and when you shouldn't work and and when you should take a break and when you shouldn't and I think that learning that is a really really important part of working um, relaxing is a learned skill honestly it's really hard to do sometimes especially as an artist especially when you know you, you go on Twitter or whatever and you see a lot of people glorifying this idea of working constantly working all the time and you kind of feel like in comparison to them you're not doing as much I think it's easy to fall into that mindset but like I said relaxing is a very very important part of working and if you don't have this this balance if you don't know how to take a step back and refocus then you don't know how to work well and I think that that's something that people need to realize is that working at full capacity all the time is not sustainable it's not healthy and it's not going to get you very far in life because you're you're gonna get to a, to a breaking point to like a real breaking point where you won't be able to do it anymore um, and so you need to learn how to take a break and I think a lot of people don't know what to do when they are taking a break and I think that the answer is is really easy um, when you're taking a break you can go out and do anything really um, expand your horizons hang out with your friends watch a TV show that you've been putting off maybe read a comic, play a video game. Um, I think a lot of people don't realize that there are more ways to improve your art than putting pencil to paper. Um, one of my favorite things to do is to hang out with my friends, um, but most of my friends don't live near me. They live in New York City, so I take the bus up to New York City and I hang out with them there and it's amazing there. I love it in New York. There's so much to see and so much to do and it's really inspiring. I think a lot of people don't realize that 
the things that you say, the, the information that you put into yourself um, is what you put back out into your artwork. And so I think that if you're, you're stagnating, you feel like you're too frustrated with your work, if you go out and you take a step back and you do other things, you expand your horizons, you expand your visual library. Let's say I go up to New York, like I said, I was like, like I was talking about, well, now I'm in New York and I'm seeing things that I, I, I can't see sitting in my room or I can't see in my small town. I see buildings and I see skyscrapers and I see different people wearing eccentric fashion. And um, eventually when I come back, now that these things are part of my visual library, I can take them and I can incorporate them into my work and I can let them inspire me. Or I'm talking to my friends and stuff and I'm having a good time and... Um, I, I get better at learning how people interact with each other and so when I come back home and when I'm ready to sit down and work again now I can incorporate what I've learned about how people interact into my characters and into my comics and I can make things more believable and more lovable and um, or even watching a TV show or playing video games you get to see different things that that inspire you and different things that you that you love and I don't want, when, when I'm out, when I'm taking a break, when I'm relaxing, you shouldn't be, you know, worrying about your work and, and about your art. Um, you should be having a good time and enjoying the moment. But once you are ready to refocus, these are things that you can think back on and you can say, hey, I had this experience. Now I can take from it and I can use it in my art. Um, yeah. God, I really fell off there. I'm sorry. I was going to say something else, but I forget now. Um, oh, yeah, I know what I was going to say. Um, I was going to say that, um, and I think you can use use that this idea that improving your art isn't always putting pen to paper to help yourself feel less guilty about not always drawing constantly. Um, know that everything you do is is helping you. Everything you do is your, your experience, your life experience is reflected into your artwork. And so if you're experiencing more things, if you're doing more, then you're, you're improving your art and you don't need to feel guilty about not constantly creating. Um, not creating is a part of creating. <laughs> and um, it's, it's integral, really, not only to your artwork, but to your own health. And so please, please don't feel guilty about not always drawing and um so coming back from a break is another thing that i think a lot of people struggle with so you get to a point where you're relaxing you're you're on your break and now you're you you, you know you can't stay on break forever and the coming back part is another detail that i think a lot a lot of people have trouble with um so a lot of times your, your art frustrations are a result of psychological issues, maybe you're insecure, or you're racing against your internal clock, or you have high expectations for yourself, and so how do you quell these thoughts now that you've, you've taken a step back and you're ready to get back into it? What do you do? Um, I feel like there are two answers for this. The first one is to draw something easy. For me, studies are simple things to do. I get to zone out and just paint what's what's there. It's not hard for me. It's not not too stressful. Or maybe you like to doodle. Doodle in your sketchbook or draw your OCs, something you're very familiar with. Um, and I think that that's important for getting your confidence back up and for um, for seeing, you know, hey, I really I'm, I'm really a good artist. I think another thing you can do is to draw what makes you happy. Um, so during your break, you hopefully did a lot of things that you love. Um, and I think that learning how to incorporate them into your art is a good way to get inspired and a good way to get back into things once you're ready to get back into your artwork. I think an overall thing to remember is to stay fluid, to let yourself go in and out of these moods. Sometimes you're going to want to draw, sometimes you're not going to want to draw. Whatever it is, don't force yourself to do anything. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed today's video. Make sure you like, comment, and subscribe, all that good stuff. And I will see you all in the next one. Goodbye.